Let us now learn how to do calculations with significant figures. You haven't thought how to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division since your elementary school days. But when you're dealing with measurements, the types of calculations you do would have to take into account the fact that measurements are not exact. What you have been taught so far, having calculations with exact numbers. And when you're working with measurements, one of the most important thing is the fact that you do not want to end up with more certainties than you started with. And the way we handle calculations with significant figures is dependent on the type of math operation that is being performed. But before we begin, let us first quickly take a look at how to round numbers. This should be something you already know. We round down whenever the last digit that we want to consider is four or less. We round up if the last digit we want to consider is five or more. Let us quickly remind ourselves what this means. If, for example, you have a question like this, round 2.349 to the 10th place. By the 10th place, we mean this should be the last digit, number three. So how do we round it? Well, since this is the last number to be considered, we would only look at the number behind the last digit. If it is four or less, we round down. If it is five or more, we round up. And in this case, it is four. So we simply round down, which means we throw all of this out. And that gives us 2.3. Now, let us move on to addition of measurements. Let us imagine we have these three measurements, 5.74, 0 0.823, and 2.651. And we want to add them together. If you enter these three numbers into your calculator and you add them, this is what your calculator is going to give you. Because your calculator is programmed to deal with exact numbers. But we are treating this as measurements, which means each of them has inherent uncertainty. And we do not want to end up with more certainty in our answer than our measurements. So what should our final answer be? Well, this is the rule. When you're dealing with addition, the answer must have the same number of decimal places as the quantity that have that has the fewest decimal places. What does that mean? The 5.74 measurement has two decimal places, which means two numbers after the decimal. The 0 0.823 measurement has three decimal places. And the 2.651 measurement has three decimal places. Since the rule says that the answer must have the same number of decimal places, as the measurements with the fewest decimal places, that means our final answer must only have 
two decimal places, which means this one will be the last digit. Our final answer will end up as 9.21. Let us now talk about subtraction. Subtraction follows the same rules as addition, which means the final answer when you try to subtract measurements will have the same number of decimal places as the quantity that has the fewest decimal places. So if, for example, you have these two measurements, 4.8 and 3.965, and you want to subtract one from the other, since the operation being performed is a subtraction, we look at the decimal places. This one has one decimal place. This one has three decimal places, which means our final answer will have only one decimal place. And since the number after the last digit to be considered is a three, we simply round down. So our final answer ends up as 0 0.8. However, multiplication and division have different rules. Let us take a look at multiplying these three measurements. If you enter these measurements into your calculator and you multiply them, 5.02, 89.665 and 0 0.10. If you multiply them, your calculator will tell you that that is the answer. But remember, these are considered measurements. We cannot simply say this is the final answer. For the 5.0118, it's not the correct answer. So how do we round? Well, the rule for multiplication and division is that the final answer is limited by the number with the least significant figures. What does that mean? Well, we learned about significant figures. This is a three significant figure number, 5.02. This is a five significant figure number. This is a two significant figure number. And since our final answer is limited by the measurements with the least significant figures, that means our final answer must only have two significant figures. Therefore, since 5 is going to be the last digit, this can be simply rounded to 45. What about division? Well, for division, we follow the same rule as multiplication. The final answer is limited by the measurement with the least significant figures. So, in these two measurements, this has four significant figures. We are trying to divide by this number that has three significant figures. If you enter the division operation into your calculator, your calculator will spill out this answer, 0 0.96590. But that is not the correct answer. Since this measurement has the least number of significant figures, then our final answer must only have three significant figures, which means this five will be our last digit. And since the number after the five is greater than a five, 
then we round this number up to six. And that is why this is the final correct answer.